Yes, Sir Dindo, naririnig yes, niyo po ba kami? Yes po. yes po, yes po, Madam Chair. Okay, salamat Sir. Hello okay. po. Uh, ilang mga po. tanong lamang po sa inyo, sigwa, or meron po ba kayong maikling mensaheng gustong ibigay sa aming komite? Although, baka Sir Dindo, dahil nakapag Um, bigay na po kayo ng testimonya nung naunang hearing, umaari dalawang follow-up questions mula sa akin sa ngayon. Uh, salamat po, Sir Dindo. Uh, Ganon kalawak na fenomenon yung marriage fraud? Uh, common practice po ba yon sa loob ng kingdom? Opo, Madam Chair. Uh, magandang hapon po pala. Good afternoon everyone, uh, especially Madam Chair and also the other senators that are also doing online and even for all the guests. Uh, that is in the, uh, present at that uh, in your uh, forum right now. Yes, uh, I think uh, it's really widely practiced because it's from from Toronto, Canada to Vancouver. So many to say it's from the east coast to the west coast. And uh, as I understand that it is happening from different cities, also including Alberta, Canada, and some other uh, areas by which they execute this uh, kind of uh, uh, sham marriages. Yeah. And Madam Chair, if you don't mind, I have some actually slides that I want to share. These are really important to really sum up also with some of the issues that has been uh, shared by some of our other witnesses and also uh, the, uh, arm, uh, the uh, general authority that also is uh, investigating. And I can show you some slides if you may. I would like to share this. Now, I would like Especially us to that, know I that think nothing Dindo, happens. I think, Sir Dindo, yeah. yung presentation yung kaugnay din ng money laundering, ano po? So please do proceed oh, yes, with I your have, slides. I Sige have po, those. you have the floor. Uh, thank, thank, you so, thank you so much, Madam. And uh, I just would like us to know that the leadership uh, chart of KOJC, nothing happens in KOJC without the knowledge of ESAQ, which is a policy Kibuloy. So down to his uh, uh, board of uh, administrators, to his coordinators and ministers, and then he, select, he deselected leaders among these uh, groups all over, the, all over Canada to mend those uh, human trafficking that are brought in different places of all Canada. So it really begins when he has a, uh, a King is Coming tour. When they come to Canada, he brings like almost 125 to 150 uh, full-time miracle workers, which includes pulpit workers, concert singers. Um, those are also who are setting up crew for his uh, live uh, telecast. And these people, they remain in Canada or in USA to do fundraising and solic solicitation in all of Canada. So caroling, solicit person to person, from malls, business to business, parking lots, residential and care homes, using CGF as soliciting organization, raising funds, capitalizing the margin mar marginalized children wherever, uh, whenever there is earthquake, also on typhoons, they also use such a, such a uh, operan operation. So Kayo I po just can show you kanina, that, ano po, Sir Dindo? Yes, I am the one doing this fundraising because I really was, yes. I believe on Pastor Apostle Apollo Sikibuli when I was converted. I have given my whole heart, whole full sincerity to support his mission. And that is the reason why I left my 65,000 yearly income to a 1,000 month income when I hand, uh, when I lead his uh, CGF uh, CGF uh, Foundation in Canada because I am the executive director of CGF Canada for uh, for, uh, for well, since 2016 and so if you can see all the slides these are my children that were supposed to be with him and they are being uh, that, uh, sent to manila to do fundraising as you see all of these names and also some of the slides those are my sons and my daughters who are being involved in all of these practices and also uh, those are the pictures another one also how what accommodation they will provide them Can you show the, yeah, these are the provisions of the sleeping uh, 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 places where the kids are, are, are really, I, I do not know if that is life that were there, you are seeing there. And then the next slides. And also here, my, my son who is also a minor is also used by SMNI to do all of this, uh, 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 what is this, this kind of uh, job in the filming industry. Now, I would like us to also know that the moment that they collected money, the following day, when they collect money, I am one of the person that they will ask to send money. And if you can see the screen, I sent money to Teresita Dandan, which is 209,500. Sir, yung yun, yes. there was also sa testimony kanina ni Ate Gingging, ni Ms. Teresita, uh, meron din siyang binanggit na Tessie Dandan. So maybe this is the same person. Ma Yes, Madam Chair, she is the same person. She is one of the board of administrators assigned in the USA. 
Okay, and then the next. Yeah, yeah, and then in the next year is we have Dana, uh, Dana Mar Margina. There is also another person named uh, Ingrid Canada, which is I believe she is in uh, in in the forum right now. Ingrid Canada, bring us Mabel, and also there's another one. Um, Pomic Peak is the name Marlin Pomic Peak. I also send all this. Uh, uh, the, this money. What happened is when the money is collected for the whole night, which full time workers in the streets, they come home almost early morning just to meet their quota. And then when they arrive, they will be counting the money. And then the people in the uh, in the uh, Treasury Department, they are going to ask someone from the members or full time workers to send it to the Philippines right away without documentation from the CRA, which is Canada Revenue Canada, without any record that is kept here so that it will be a tax or whatever uh, whatever things that the government wants to know how the uh, how uh, Surgeon's Trade Foundation is operating and also the KOJC is operating. Now, I am one of the victim of Hisham marriage. That's the reason why my children were already grown up when I brought them to Canada. But I thank God I rescued them from Davao and they were released from Davao and I was able to uh, brought them here in Canada. I was asked to marry Maria Noralin Barrientos because her visa is expiring and that my children was, I asked the minister Dandi Cabajo to bring my, do, my children to Davao because I thought that if they will be properly, and I, 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 I can see that they have uh, nurtured them, teaching them how to play music and everything, but I was not aware that they were being trafficked. Uh, um, uh, child trafficking to many uh, parts uh, in, in Manila and also in many parts of Davao and Mindanao. And so I got married to this person and then I filed a divorce after those few years. And Sir here Dindo, in Canada, I can mention this. Oh, Sir Dindo, yung ganitong class yes, of ma operations ma ng marriage fraud, ongoing pa ba sila? I, I cannot say yes because I have been away from them since 2019. But since, you know, this has been a modus operandi of uh, KOJC, not only in Canada, USA, Brazil, and even in, in the different parts of the, of the country, of the world, by which they want a worker from Davao to have a permanent status so that their existence there will continue to uh, perpetuate. That's the recent thing. And I just want to mention this, Madam Chair. The administrator here in Canada which is the sister of uh, Ingrid Canada, Maritair Canada, is also one of the sham marriage here. So get married to one of the worker. One also is um, 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 Elizabeth Carrion is also one because she was a previous um, um, board, of, uh, board of administrator here in, in Canada. And Ferdinand Cabajo, which is Dandy Cabajo in the schematic plan from the uh, from the police. Jeremiah Carrion, Marvin Reynes, Arlene Rillion, Zar Buena Fe, Beric Nana, and many, many more names that I can I can uh, uh, supply up give to you to prove to the fact that these sham marriages are really happening. And as I told you, I am one of the victim of this of this scheme. Another thing also that I want to add is that Rose de Magnaong appointed me as in, uh, she's the in charge of the Philippine uh, of the CGF Philippines, and also in Canada and Australia and Nepal and Hong Kong, which is not really registered. Uh, uh, CGF is not even registered there. But the head of all the operations is still ACQ, which is Apollo Sikiboloi, who controls the withdrawals of funds, particularly from CGF Canada bank accounts, of which funds were used not for children's benefit, but for the benefit of certain personalities and KOJC Canada Church's operations. In 2016, Rose de Magnao hired me to assist with the possible rebooking of their license with the, by the CRA. Reason for that, because there has been a report of misappropriation of funds, which I tried to justify to the CRA. But I want us this forum to know that in KOJC, telling lies and cover up of KOJC is a normal part of their culture from the very beginning. That is how they groom lies and cover up. Some of these full-time medical workers who are in the streets for more than 12 to 16 hours soliciting to pay off luxurious cars and mansions, which I'm a witness of the mansions being owned here, instead of feeding hungry, destitute children in the Philippines. Thank you very these much. These are the reasons why... Yes, Sir Dindo, meron pa po sa presentation niyo. 
I, I will be closing now, yes, madam. But proceed. these are the reasons why the CGF was closed. Close. Can I continue, madam? Yes, please do. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Chair. Failure to devote resources to charitable activities. That's the reason why CGF, that's number one, why they were closed here. Number two, failure to be constituted for exclusively charitable purposes. Number three, failure to issue receipts in accordance with the Act of and its regulations. Because here in Canada, every donation requires a receipt so they can present it to the CRA for tax deductions. Failure to maintain adequate books and records. Because the reason why I left, because I cannot justify all of the expenses, including sending 60000 just to pay off fuel for a jet. Which I said, this is not for children's purposes, but this is for personal purposes of whoever. The, for the proof of the file can be found in the internet. Now, I want us to understand that ECQ controls CGF Canada through his administrator, Maritio Canada, who does all the instruction of withdrawals from CGF bank accounts, especially the 60,000 that I already mentioned. Now, this is not only 60,000, Madam Chair. This is millions of dollars being collected from September to February, that is the month of blessing, aside from January to December, which is 365 days of money laundering, collecting the money from the Canadian public, instead of giving it to the hungry people in the Philippines, they use it and send it right away to the accounts aforementioned in my presentation. So whenever ECQ full-time workers reported to the police for any abuses such as rudeness, and uh, they have some human rights violation, like one of the worker, full-time worker, tried to entice a mentally challenged boy and she even went to the bank machine, insert the bank machine of that boy, and then collected money, more than $500 from that boy. And she has been like at large now, but she has been, the police has been looking for her, but they sent her to Australia. And that is how this operation is happening. When you are not allowed to work on a certain country, they will send you some other countries like i was in australia because I, I was the one who opened assigned to open cgf in australia but they are now under investigation so much so here in canada now thank you uh, i want to uh, close uh, this. Sir Dindo. yes i'm closing now yes, madam this thank will be the last. the last i left this organization after i have seen all of these lies and financial manipulation that includes my mother andrea garcia larson who is not rich but have given ACQ almost 3 million pesos because she believes on him. As her sacrifice offering, not minding she, was, she has no more money for her retirement. She died with COVID in 2022. I sent an info to Rose D. McNown that my mother died. I never have received any sympathy from them. And aside from that, the same year when my mother gave this money to Apollo Sikibului, my children were taken off from the scholarship of his institution, which is Jose Maria College, which I really feel bad as a father who has been working for him and working for his ministry with all my whole heart because I give my heart to his ministry and I was treated like this. I feel bad that when my mother died, they just did not even, they just ignore. His doctrine are deceitful claims, a blasphemy to the Son of God. But may I speak to Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy, Madam Chair, if you allow me. Uh, Sir Dindo, uh, I would uh, allow that sa parehong paraan kay Miss Yulia kanina through the chair, kaya lang medyo kinigipit na po tayo sa oras. But if you would like to put your message to Kibuloy in writing, uh, pwede po namin itanong sa korte if they will allow uh, it to be uh, uh, um, sent to him, kung maaari po Sir Dindo. Yes, salamat po. Thank you so much. Salamat. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank, so Thank you so much for this. Uh, Thank you so much, Sir Dindo. I'm sorry about your mother, but I hope na kayo na mga anak mo, uh, you're really um, uh, rehabilitating your life together now. Salamat po, Sir Dindo. Yes.